Hello, guys. Uh, welcome to this second lesson in Jenkins. My name is Eric Patterson. Today, I will teach you guys how to install a plugin um, in Jenkins. Um, and then we'll have to talk first about what is a plugin in Jenkins before we try to install it. So most of people, they don't understand the, the concept of plugin in Jenkins. So we're going to ask ourselves here, what is a plugin? In Jenkins, so the plugin Jenkins just a piece of software that extends the functionality of Jenkins automation server. What does it mean? The plugin is just an element that Jenkins will be required to be able to talk to other tools. Uh, most of the time, those are uh, uh, SaaS tool. If we take an example here, uh, for you to make a cell, for you to make a cell phone call, you will need uh, connectivity. So, for example, here, um. You have your phone here. If you want to talk to someone here, you will need the network connectivity. So the plugin works the, works the same. So like, for example, for Jenkins to talk to any other tool, we need a plugin. If you come here, for example, um, for Jenkins to go ahead and clone a repository, you will need a GitHub plugin so that you can go ahead and clone that repository, for example. For Jenkins to actually publish um, a build result to SonarQ, like a pass and a fail to SonarQ with all the analysis, Jenkins will actually require the SonarQ plugin. For Jenkins to go ahead and publish, for example, uh, uh, the build status on Slack, Jenkins will go ahead and require the, the Slack plugin. Uh, the, same, the same thing for Jenkins to go ahead and publish um, the images to like Nexus repository, Jenkins will also need the Nexus, the Nexus plugin. So a, a plugin is just that middle element uh, between this the the SaaS tool that we see and Jenkins that is required for Jenkins to go ahead and and, and talk to those tools. So to to ease communication between Jenkins and any other tool can be Datadog, uh, can be SonarQ, GitHub, Slack, uh, ECR for example, EC two uh, for example. Jenkins will actually need plugging for those two to go ahead and do that. Same thing goes for like JCP and Azure. Uh, uh, Jenkins will go ahead and need a plugging now. Let's jump into the topic and see how we can go ahead and install a plugin in Jenkins. I have a fresh Jenkins server that has spawned here. So to install plugin, it's easy. You have two ways. You can you either you click here to manage Jenkins. Uh, for manage Jenkins, you come here to, to manage plugin, or you can go back, or you can come here on this dashboard menu. You can see when I put my mouse on the dashboard menu, you have this little drop down. You can click on the drop down. From here, you will hit manage Jenkins, and then you can just hit plugin here. So when you get to the plugin uh, uh, panel, you have available plugin, install plugin, advanced setting, uh, download progress. So what is the available plugin, right? Update here. Here you will see all the plugin that need update. It will be, they will pop out here. This is a fresh Jenkins. So um, almost uh, nothing is installed there. That's why you don't see anything here. So if we come down here, available plugin here, these are like a, the, the marketplace where you see all the plugin here. Only few are published. And if you want to search for a plugin, you tap here to search for a plugin. Install plugin. These are the plugin that I already installed. Uh, usually, if you come here on available plugin, you search for a plugin. For example, if you don't see it, it means that that plugin has been installed. For example, here we have uh, we have all these plugins. These are the plugins that have been installed already. If you look at here, the GitHub plugin, for example, if I come here on available, then I type GitHub. It's not gonna show me the GitHub plugin because the GitHub plugin has already been installed. So if I come here, then I type the same GitHub, it will show me the GitHub plugin because the GitHub plugin has already been installed. So now you have advanced setting. Uh, it is here that uh, you can also install a plugin differently. So I will show you how to install plugin in two ways. Let's take a plugin like SonarQ, for example, uh, the, 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 the SonarQ plugin, the Sonar Scanner plugin. If you want to install the plugin in Jenkins, what you need to do, you have to go to, for example, to, to available, then you type the plugin that you want to install. Uh, for example, I type Sonar, it gives me this Sonar Cube, Sonar, uh, Sonar, uh, uh, Quality gate. So let's pick one. If you want to integrate Jenkins with Sonar Cube, now we come here and actually pick this plugin. And you can install multiple plugins at the same time. So you can click like on multiple plugins at the same time. Once you are done clicking on them, you go ahead and you install. This window will pop out and it will show you 
when the plugin is installed. Then you have a choice at the end. It's either you can restart the Jenkins or you can just continue doing what you are trying to do. So if I click here, it will restart Jenkins. I will have to wait about a minute or two. But if I click here, I can just continue doing what I'm doing. So this go ahead and install a Sonar plugin uh, to see that that was installed. Whenever you install the plugin to see whether plug to see if the plugin has been installed, you can come here on Manage Jenkins and come here on System. And you can look for that uh, plugin. We install the Sonar the Sonar Cube plugin. We'll be able to see here if we scroll down. See here Sonar Sonar Cube Server. Now we can add, we can configure. Go ahead and configure. Uh, that go ahead and configure that plugin here. Uh, for example, which is be the object of a later video. If we go back to our plugin, our plugin section. For example, I have Sonar Cube installed. If I go to install and type Sonar, be able to see the Sonar, uh, the two plugin that I installed for for Sonar Cube. Also, there's another way to install plugin. For example, let's say I want to install the Slack plugin. I can either download that plugin and install it. If I, if we come here, for example, on uh, available plugin, if I type Slack here, I will see the Slack plugin here. If I right click here and open a new page, for example, this is where the plugin documentation is. And if I click here on release, it will show me everything about that release. And that is where you want to install like a specific version, right? Because if I go ahead and install Slack, what it's going to do is that it's going to install the latest version of Slack, right? Which is this version here of Slack. But what about if, for example, at work, what I'm trying to do requires that I install this version of Slack, for example. It's easy. Uh, you can just click on this, uh, this version. It will go ahead and download it for you. You go back. You go back to Jenkins instead of coming here, instead of checking here and install, because if you check here, like I said, it will install this 684, 6.84 V8, but the one that we just uh, decided to install is uh, this one, 6.25 V8. So if I come down here, if I go to advanced setting, for example, and I scroll down here, I go to this deploy a plugin, I can pick file here. Um, I can go to download, pick up this, it will upload that. Then the only thing that I need to do is to, to deploy. You guys see the same thing. If I come down here, come back, go back to manage Jenkins system. If I search, if you go further down, we will see Slack. So the Slack plugin has been installed. So just to recap what we did, uh, what is a plugin? You just add the extension. Thank you for watching this video.